So let's go ahead now and uh, create a free body diagram for an object accelerating down a rough ramp. So here is our ramp of inclination theta and here is the object that we are going to look at. The first force that we are going to draw on the free body diagram is the force of gravity. Force of gravity always vertically downwards starting from the center of gravity of the object. There we go, label it mg. The next force acting upon this object is going to be <clears throat> the normal force. The normal force is always perpendicular to the surface, so starting from the center of the object, force that is perpendicular to the ramp going upwards, label it little n. And finally, because this object is accelerating down a rough ramp, there will be a force of friction that's going to be in the opposite direction of motion, if the object is again accelerating down the ramp, the force of friction is going to have to be up the ramp. So there we go, up the ramp, a force of friction, little f, k. Force of kinetic friction. Now we are going to have to look at all these forces uh, and considering a magnitude, magnitude check for them. Uh, in order to do that, uh, we need to have our helping x and y axes. The x axis will be parallel to the motion. So there we go, through the center of the object, draw the x axis parallel to the surface. And the y axis will be perpendicular to the surface. There we go, through the center of the object, the helping dotted line, label it y. Now, out of the three forces acting upon this object, only one force, mg, is neither along the x nor along the y. So, therefore, mg will have to be resolved. Carefully, we are going to consider resolving this vector by drawing perpendiculars from its arrow to the y and to the x-axis in such a way that we have now two little right triangles over there. The two components will go one of them this way, down the ramp, and the other one this way, along the y-axis. Now this big right triangle will be similar to this little two right triangles that are congruent to each other. So therefore, this angle theta over here will have to be congruent to this angle theta, which is congruent to this angle theta. Therefore, this component, the x component of mg, is going to be mg sine theta. And the y component of mg is going to be mg cosine theta. Now we have all forces going in the two directions. Remember, once we resolve mg, we don't count it anymore. We are only looking at the components, mg sine theta and mg cosine theta. So now we have two forces going along the x-axis and two forces going along the y-axis. The object accelerates on the x-axis, so therefore the y forces must be balanced. How are we going to check for that? We are now doing a magnitude check. Well, we measure their magnitudes, and we see here we have 2 centimeters for mg cosine theta, and we actually have 3 for the normal force. Easy fix here. We are going to shorten the normal force, and we make it also 2 centimeters long. There we go. So here is our new normal force, which is now exactly the same length as mg cosine theta, so therefore the y forces are balanced. The x forces, mg sine theta and fk, must be unbalanced in the favor of mg sine theta because we need a net force to be down the ramp. Therefore, mg sine theta must be greater than fk. When we measure those, so we are going to see for mg sine theta 2 centimeters and for fk 2 centimeters and a bit. So therefore, fk should be shortened just a little bit to make sure that is 
smaller in magnitude than mg sine theta. So now mg sine theta is, as I just said a minute ago, 2 centimeters in length. There we go. While fk, once we shortened it, it's just 1.4 centimeters. So therefore, mg sine theta is greater than fk, giving us an unbalanced situation uh, of forces along the x-axis with a net force going downwards because mg sine theta, downwards on the ramp, um, because mg sine theta is greater than fk. While on the y-axis, the normal force and mg cosine theta are equal in magnitude, making them balanced. Magnitude check has been performed, and this is the free body diagram of an object accelerating down a rough ramp.